Welcome back, everybody, to John and Tracy's Create. Today we're making Hawaiian bread. Hot, fresh rolls have always been one of my family's favorites, especially Hawaiian bread. It's not that difficult to make. The recipe that I use calls for two tablespoons of olive oil, one tablespoon of salt, one cup of pineapple juice, three cups of flour, two tablespoons of sugar, one cup of warm water with a teaspoon of yeast. For making bread and rolls, I recommend using bread flour. Bread flour has more protein content than all-purpose flour, which helps with the gluten development. I found my breads and rolls have turned out perfectly each time since I switched. Now we add all the ingredients into the mixing bowl and stir until a nice doughy ball forms. As you can see, I'm using the KitchenAid stand mixer with the dough hook attachment. I do have to stop the machine and scrap down the sides about twice, then continue the mixing process. This takes about 10 minutes. During this step, you will need to watch your dough to make sure it's not too stiff or sticky. If you need to add additional flour or water, do it in small increments, about one tablespoon at a time. Once the bread is kneaded, it should have a nice elastic consistency. Remove from bowl and transfer to a cutting board. Cut individual pieces about one inch squares for rolls. You do want to add a little space between the rolls, which allows for expansion during the rising process. Now your bread it is ready to proof. Place rolls and bread in a warm, dry-free area for about one hour. I'm using my pressure cooker as a prover by heating up two cups of water to boiling, then turning off the machine. I place the rolls on a rack and stack another rack on top for a final pan. I close the lid and let rise for one hour. After about one hour, our rolls are nice and fluffy and ready to bake. Bake in a 350 degree preheated oven for about 30 minutes. And here you have it folks, easy homemade Hawaiian rolls made simple. I hope you enjoy this video and enjoy the recipe. If you did, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more of our videos. See you next time with John and Tracy Create.